Okay, today we are going to discuss the technical rate of substitution for CES technology. By CES technology, we mean that the constant elasticity of substitution technology. And what technical rate of substitution is, this is the rate at which the two factor inputs are to be exchanged for each other, right? And what is the technical rate of substitution equal to? It is equal to the ratio of the marginal physical productivity of the two factor input. You can divide the marginal physical productivity of one factor input by an other. And in uh, geometrically, it measures the degree of curvature of the ISO quant. Okay, so the CES technology is given by this production function, right? And to calculate the marginal physical productivity of labor and marginal physical productivity of capital, what we will do is we have to take the partial derivative of this production function with respect to labor and with respect to capital. So if we take the first order partial derivative of this function with respect to labor, we have to apply the generalized power rule because you can see that there is a power of the whole function, right? And the generalized function, function rule, a power rule is given by something like this. If a function has a whole power, and you would want to take its derivative, the power will be multiplied with the coefficient of the whole function, right? The power will be reduced by one, right? Like this. And you will multiply the first derivative of the function inside the brackets. So function inside the bracket is equal to f of x. So in our case, the power is over here, right? The power has been reduced by one, right? And the derivative of this inner function with respect to labor is, this is equal to, there is no labor in this function, so its derivative with respect to labor is zero. And the derivative of this with respect to labor, we have to apply the power rule. Power will multiply with the coefficient and the power will be reduced by one. So this is the marginal physical productivity of labor. In the same way, we can also obtain the marginal physical productivity of capital. So look at it, this is the marginal physical productivity of capital. We take the first order partial derivative of the output in a production function with respect to capital, applying generalized power rule in the same way we get what? We get the first order partial derivative in this form. Okay, so the technical rate of substitution is dividing the marginal physical productivity of labor by the marginal physical productivity of capital. All right, so this is cancel out with this, right? and the row is cancelled out with row and we are left with l to the power row minus one divided by capital to the power row minus one or if we uh, exchange numerator by denominator and the denominator by numerator so its power will be changed so if we shift the capital to the numerator it will be plus one minus row so that's why its power is one minus row and if we shift labor to the power row minus one to the denominator it will become plus one minus row so that's why it is plus one minus row since k and l have the same power so that's why we can take its whole power as one minus row because this is the power of k as well as l so we can take it its whole power as one minus row all right now we have to calculate the technical rate of substitution which is the ratio of your marginal physical productivities and this is equal to what this is equal to k by l to the power one minus so if we solve it for k by l we have to take the uh, we have to take the whole power is one over one minus so to the left hand side and the right hand side it will be cancelled out with this so k by l this is equal to mpl divided by mpk whole power one over one minus so this thing else, nothing else. This is the technical rate of substitution as well. So the ultimate form is, look at this. So this is this is the technical rate of substitution of capital for labor. It means that we are substituting capital for labor. We want to get an additional uh, units of capital for which we have to forego certain units of labor. And we will put a minus sign because we know that there is trade up between the labor and capital or the MPL and the MPK because 
as much as you are increasing the units of labor and decreasing the unit of capital, there, there will be a, a trade off in the their modern physical productivity. So that's why this is this ratio is technical rate of substitution. We will take it in absolute form. This is technical rate of substitution in absolute form. It means that ignoring minus, though there is no minus in the derivation, but it, it is mandatory to put it. It it should be borne in mind that there is trade up between the modern physical productivities and the in a, uh, input ratio. So the ultimate form of the technical rate of substitution of capital for labor, this is equal to technical rate of substitution to the power one over one minus rho. We will use this technical rate of substitution in the computation of the elasticity of substitution for CES technology. So this is all about the technical rate of substitution for CES production function. Thank you. Thanks for watching.